Hello everyone, you're watching PokerNews.com and welcome to our coverage here of the 888 Live in London. I am with 888 Pro Sophia Lovegren. Now, I just was reading an article about you on PokerNews.com, which it really gave me a lot more insight about you, but we're gonna, before we get into the fun personal stuff, I wanted to talk a little bit um, about some, some tips and tricks, some advice you would give players who maybe are grinding the micro stakes at this point and are, are looking to grow their bankroll, move up in the world? Okay, first of all I think you need to be really patient and uh, play with bankroll management uh, because uh, yeah, long term like no players can be successful if they don't play with bankroll management, it's really important and uh, yeah, you need to, uh, it demands a lot of uh, to be patient and uh, a lot of practice, like you cannot become a great poker player over one day or two days you need to spend a lot of time playing and uh, gain a lot of experience and uh, um, yeah I would also suggest to like hang out with good poker players and like uh, just discuss poker with uh, good poker players. So yeah. tell me a little bit when you were very first starting I know you started even with a free roll at one point and and built it up and then that that site went down and um, you know how would you how did you go about building your sort of daily schedule? You know, how much, what percentage were you playing tournaments? What percentage, you know, what what type of tournaments versus cash games, etc. Uh, I started out winning a free roll actually, thirty cent, and uh, I put it on a cash game table. And I, when I had two dollars, I put it on a cash game table and grinded it up uh, on low stakes cash games. With like, like one cent, two like, cent, like uh, five, ten cent blinds. Okay. And uh, I stepped up in levels when I uh, increased the bankroll and. I was grinding like one two and two four, uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, I just uh, went up with like bankroll management and built my bankroll in that way. So I <laughs> was very patient and I played a lot um, uh, a few years ago. So, and so are you putting in, you know, okay, eight hours a day, ten hours a day, five? I know you were going to school and stuff as well. Yeah, when I started out, I was playing a lot of poker in evenings after school. Like uh, every night, I was playing poker. It was like a part-time work uh, besides school. So uh, yeah, when I finished school, I decided to yeah tr play poker full time. Yeah. Well, one other thing I wanted to talk to you about is that you're, you've been very active growing up. You were into athletics and into sports, and then turning to this life that's you know relatively more sedentary, something where you're not moving as much. What do you do to keep moving and keep your body you know fit? No, I. I always like to be active, like I need to have something to do, activities, otherwise I get very restless. So I mean, I like to play golf, sailing, uh, uh, go to the gym sometimes, or like classes as a gym, like dance aerobic and uh, like crossfit and, <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah, I just like to have activities going on. <laughs> Dream girl, golf in the day, play some poker at night, I love it. Well, we of course will be keeping track of Miss Sophia here. You're playing of course tomorrow, day 1B, and you guys can follow all that coverage with us right here on PokerNews.com.